Well, it's Monday, you know what that means. Another Pick of the week. week. Woo! All right, books are yeah, late, but yeah. not extremely late. <laughs> and, the, and there's a fire hydrant out on the other side of the road spewing out water. What a day! I know. Yeah, no water. Yeah. <laughs> really, really good shit. Anyways, moving right along. All right, we're going to give away a few free comments. Okay, what do you got there? Ooh, crazy ooh, number one. Crazy, crazy. One of my favorite magazines as a kid. Yeah. Well, they really took the uh, took it away from Mad, from, uh, right? Yeah. Doing their own. Yeah, Spider-Man 800. There you go, folks. Check that out. Dan Slot, a classic. Excalibur number one. Woohoo! Okay, from the uh, from the latest run. Hey, you can't go bad there. Miles Morales number eleven. Ooh, that's the uh, Mary Jane variant. And last Sweet. but not least, we have a Superman eighteen. Woohoo! Okay, is that a? Uh, oh, Bendis, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, and who's going to be? Not a whole lot of names left. Okay, okay. Eventually you put the old names back. <laughs> Well, yeah, it is 1.30. 1.30, okay. It's uh, Trevor. Excellent, okay. Right, so these will be in your box. One of these weeks you pull it up and there'll just be one tag left in it, right? Yeah, well, that's the way it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, regular pick of the week. Okay, give it to us. There you go, we're going to go King and Black number one. Okay, excellent choice, excellent choice. The reviews on that have been outstanding, so that's good. Well, Donnie Cates too, right? The Cape Master. Well, a couple weird books this week. Okay. And you do not pet a service dog's graphic tail and your own tail like a tail. Yeah, okay. And, uh, service dog. I like to go around petting service dogs, right? Just to see what they do, right? <laughs> and, <that's one. laughs> and this was a one per store freebie, which I thought was completely weird. But uh, from the makers of Czech Cereal. Oh. This comic about Czech. cereal. Chicks Quest, okay. So throw it in there because you're probably not going to see it on the shelf anywhere. Okay. And the, oh, there was, got one there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Captain Canuck, when your old buddy Ho Chi Anderson wrote it. Yes. Captain Canuck is back. There we go. Big shout out to Ho Chi. We got a picture of him actually here in the shop when he was here a few years ago. Really nice guy. He was nice. Yeah. I saw his talk. Yeah. And last but not least, cover and comic of the week. And as uh, you said last week, Daredevil was good. And now this is like the hottest book out there at the moment. Yeah. Daredevil 25. Daredevil 25. They're fighting over this like dogs. Yeah. Electra, <laughs> Electra has taken over. Okay. So oh, hey, you, be, you better be ready for it, pals. Probably not Because <laughs> she, she don't take no prisoners, <laughs> right? right? Figure of the week, I like this little group plush. Ooh, oh, wow. Now this is pretty cool. Come on, just in time for Christmas, too. Excellent. Okay, I like that. <laughs> yeah, a couple of those. And game of the week. Oh, game of the week. Cute. People have been asking for huh? games for smaller kids. So here you go, hot potato. Oh, hot potato. Okay. This. Oh, so, so okay. I'm just passing it around. Mm. Now, see, now, this is a cool idea, right? Yeah, they keep tossing <laughs> it until I guess somebody gets third degree burns. And then they... <laughs> and then they uh... <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, that's kind of well. <laughs> well, that is the uh, one thing I should have done for sure, eh? Hey, right, you got some books? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. Hey, <laughs> right, that's over. Oh, that's how we're done with it. <laughs> okay, uh, this week, this is the Alien uh, hardcover, Alien, the original screenplay. Yeah. As if uh, that's cool. the original one wasn't good enough. Yeah, one of my favorite sci-fi movies. Yeah. Oh, it's the... It's still... A, it's a great franchise. Never forget, never forget the chest-bursting scene. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, man, the people in the audience freaked out. That's it. Now, this actually has been on a couple of people's best-of list for this year, apparently. Uh, Slaughterhouse-Five or The Children's Crusade from Kurt Vonnegut. This apparently is really good... I mean, it's a great novel, but apparently this is a great ad adaptation. Yeah, that's cool. So, uh... Pick it up, people, while you can. Oh, the art's pretty nice. Yeah. Love Kurt Vonnegut. He does some great stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Looks and cool to me. Last but not least, in terms of new ones, is this hardcover Mickey All Stars. This is one of those uh, European ones, and it's done by a bunch of artists, sort of non traditional uh, Mickey, right? <laughs> Game's still acting up back there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
No words. Yeah. Oh, a few words. Well, yeah, it's, it's super cool. Neat. Okay, and now it's time for... Blast from the Past. Blast, blast from the Past comes the goon, the deceit of a cro magnon da dandy. But the goon, uh, I never knew much about this until Sam, actually, Sam was the one who turned me on to it. Said, so you got to read this. Yeah. And read it, it, it has horror, it has comedy, it's it's actually a really good comic. Yeah, no, he, he does good stuff. Yeah. So I highly Please. recommend it, for sure, right? All right. Okay, well, uh, I well, guess that's it for this week, isn't it? All right, so uh, keep reading comics. And we'll see you at this comic book shop. See you guys.